Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed to our video channel, by all means, thank you very much. And if you haven't, please do. And when you do, please tap on the little notification bell. You'll be notified every time one of our videos comes up. I'd also like to say if you tap on the little like button, we appreciate that too. Today, we're still continuing with Jim's, with Jim's motor here. This is uh, an Evolution in a uh, 97 Fat Boy. And we're getting ready to set up a new cam in it. So when I replace a cam, I always prefer to put in a new cam bearing. New cam, new bearing. So, let's see. I'll start by removing the old cam bearing. This is a cam bearing removal tool. And what I like to do is put a little grease on it first. Make everything easy on the tool. These tools last for years and years and years if you take care of them. So I'm going to put this tool into the bearing. Uh, one of the things I just now forgot to mention, when you're installing that tool, you can see the flywheels in there. And you don't want the crank pin nut to be up there. It makes it harder for that tool to go in. It won't go in nice and easy like that. So if you want to turn the motor over slightly so you can see the indentation in the flywheel, then you have more room for the tool. Okay, I think I made that clear. Okay. And again, grease on the tool it is a wonderful thing. We want everything to, to last a long time. This, this stuff ain't cheap. Okay, the sleeve goes on. There's a space where the bearing is going to come out. Put the tool in place. And everybody picked on me for my old worn out rawhide mallet. So I've been using my newer one. And it's still breaking in. It's still too hard, but we're going to use it until it gets good, good and ripe. So we'll pull this slot sleeve back, tap the spreader shaft in there, now what that has done is it's moved the puller out into the bearing. I've shown this before, and I'm not sure I've always shown enough detail, so I'm trying to show it now. Okay, it's pretty well... <laughs> You don't realize how long it takes you until you turn the camera on. Okay. You want to be real careful because you don't want to damage the case. The bearing you don't care about. Except you don't want to destroy it and risk getting any particles of metal loose in the case. So here it is. We've got all the slack out of it. It's seated all well and nice. There's a lip on the other side of that bearing that you don't want to chip when you're removing the cam bearing. And there it goes. I felt it break loose. 
and we'll continue tightening this nut. <clears throat> you can see I put grease on the washer because I don't want to wear any of this stuff out. I've been using this tool for a long, long time, and I want to keep on using it for a long time. Take a little at a time, nice and easy. Don't want to animal any of this stuff. I can feel it getting close. The bearing's only about an inch wide. If you're putting a cam a new cam in an Evo, and it's never had a cam change, you always want to be certain that you change that bearing for a better one than it came with. Not to insult Harley. And there it is. And I'll take an aluminum drift, and I'll take that shaft out when I'm done. I don't think anyone needs to watch me do that, but I want to put it away nice and clean with that puller relaxed. Okay. Sometimes you get in here and you'll find damage from people that have animaled it in the past. This one has no issues. I kind of knew what I'd find in this bike. I think I'm the only one that's ever been into it, so there it is. So now we'll get the new bearing, which now we can see the bearing. Special tool for opening the wrapper. Now looking at the bearing, this is the flat end, and this is the round or contoured end of it. That's the end that's going to go in. This is the end we use to push it in. So we have a tool for that. This plate is going to go on here like this. Let's see, like that or like that? Like that. Okay. This same tool works on early models, too. The generator uh, pans and shovel heads. The same bolt pattern on them. Okay, now put some grease on everything. I put grease on these to put them in. Assembly lube is fine. Good oil is fine. I've just always done them with grease. Good, fresh grease. Same thing here on the tool. And there it is, ready to go. So what we're going to do, I keep a couple of screws in with the uh, with the tool. They're just 
regular quarter 20 bolts. And we just put them in there. There's one there. And one there. How much does that tool cost? I have no idea. I really, I bought it so many years ago. I really don't know. There's a number of companies that make that make them. Uh, this one happens to be a Jim's machine. Um, and again, I've had it so many years. You know what? I forgot to get. I believe it's a three-quarter wrench. Now, as you put this in, You, you carefully make sure it's centered and going into the case. That's it, Jim. That's three-quarter right back there. Just a nice big three-quarter inch wrench. You get it centered in there and it goes right in. Thank you, Jim. Yep, it's a three-quarter. I thought so. Okay, now remember we put it in with the curved end in, the rounded end. And now we're going to just carefully put that thing in place. And it bottoms on that lip on the inside. So when you feel it bottom, it's there. There's not a whole lot of thinking involved there. Gee, did I get it in far enough? Gee, did it go all the way? See, it's gliding in so nice and smooth. And that's because it's never been damaged. I can also see by the color of the threads how far it's got to go, having used this tool for so long. Okay, I can feel it bottoming. Take a good look because the sleeve bottoms right up to the case and the tool itself is spaced, spaced correctly. That's it. Now we'll back the tool out very carefully. And the bearing will stay in place. Should be backing out just fine. And not to be repetitious, but there it is. So now we can take the bolts out of the, the plate. Oh, it really won't matter. It'll just, here, I'll just go like this. It's nice to have help. I'm just so used to doing this by myself. And there it is. And the cam is in there. Let me wipe it off so you can see it a little better. Now you can see it's below the outer edge. There's a thrust plate that goes on there and then a cam shim. So nothing bottoms against anything there. It's just perfect. So that takes care of the cam bearing. It's a good idea to put your finger in there. Just check it to make sure all the needles are rolling perfectly because you could have slipped, you could have made a mess, 
this is a better time to find it is now rather than later. So the next thing I want to do, bearing is in place, is I want to put a new cam seal in this. This is the cam cover and the seal is inside that cover. I've got the ignition in the way. I don't want to take all the wires loose and all that stuff just because it accommodate. It's more accommodating, but that's the way it is. So we're going to take that seal out of there, being very careful with the drift here to make sure that I don't hit the bushing, the bronze bushing that the cam runs on. Okay? And we just knock the seal out of there. Again, staying tidy and wiping off the oil. Now I have the fun part of uh, getting the ignition module out of the way. Okay, and there it is out of the way. I have no idea what the... Oh, that's the spring out of the seal. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll look in there for any other particles of debris. And now it's time to get nasty. We're going to use a, uh, a seal and we're not going to use a fancy seal installer. We're going to use something nasty like a socket. So let me get the seal. Here is the new seal. Check it, make sure it's the same. And it is. And they make the rubber seal and they make the uh, the steel shielded shielded one here. And I think either one of them works fine. I'm kind of partial to these metal ones. I just I just have real good luck with them. You know, a leaky cam seal is something you can deal with, you live with it. I'd rather not. Okay, now I've got this on blocks of wood because, again, I've left the module installed and I don't really want to uh, take it off. But here we have a seal and we have a a really nice rawhide mallet. Really nice. Too nice. And it's going in nice and straight. And that basically is it. I felt it go home. Can hear it ring. Yep, it lives there. <laughs> and there it is. So now we put in a new cam bearing, we put in a new cam seal, and the next thing I think will be to install the cam and breather shim and all that sort of thing. But for now, I think that's while I prep for the rest of this stuff. I think we're pretty well in order. So I'm going to kind of get ready to do some other stuff here. And until then, I'll see you out on the road.